Welcome back. This is the binding video. So you should have a front and a back and a gusset all stitched together. And we have an open leg seam here that we want to close up. Your bindings are going to be the exact same pattern piece as the leg band that comes with the pattern. And we're going to need some color-coded pins. I'm using pink, blue, green, and orange. So first we want to fold this in half. We want to mark this fold. I'm using a pink pen for my center. I want to open that up and I want to find my side folds. So I'm going to match the short ends to where the pin is. And I'm going to mark two green side folds, one on this side. and one on this side. All right. So do that for both of your bands. So you have a center and then a quarter mark and a quarter mark. And then we need to do the same thing for our leg openings. So we're gonna fold those side panels together like we're gonna stitch that up, except we're not yet, and hold that opening. And then we're going to let it fold naturally. Don't try to match the edges up. You'll see they're different curves, but just where it folds in half naturally. We're going to mark that fold with a pink pen. Then just like our leg binding, we need to find our quarter points. So we're going to pull our edge to our pink pen and get a natural fold without matching the trying to make the edges curved. Mark both of those with green pins. Again, pulling that edge to the pin, natural fold, and green pin. And do that for both legs. And take one of your bindings, right sides together, you're gonna match your colored pins. And then where those, the end of the binding meets the side of the panty, I'm gonna add a blue pin. And go down the other side. All right, and then where these pins are, there's, you know, a little gap in there. And the point is to pull the binding to stretch the binding to match the edge. We're just going to do that now and we're going to put some little helper pins in there so when we get to the machine we don't have such a long ways to stretch. And you definitely want to follow the curves. You don't want to stretch that across and then where that's sticking out either serge it off or stitch it and trim it off because then you're losing the curve. You're losing the cupping of your booty. So match those edges, put some little helper pins in here, again just stretch that binding, pull the raw edge up. Stretch your binding, meet the raw edges, and I'm just guesstimating halfway points between here. So you can see the fabric bubbles out about the same, and then there's about the same distance of binding between the pins. So again, stretch the binding, 
meet the raw edge at a midway point. All right, so attach both leg openings that way. So this one and this one. And I highly recommend a serger for bindings. We're not gonna trim anything off and we're just gonna serge. And it gives us this nice quarter inch. And you'll see how that's helpful when we come back after the serging. You can, if you don't have a serger, I would recommend a zigzag. Um, do it on a scrap piece or, you know, check your, your sewing advisor on your machine and make sure that zigzag is a quarter inch wide because we want a perfect quarter inch here to help us fold these bindings in a minute. All right, so we have our bindings surged on or zigzagged on at that perfect quarter inch. And for this step, you're gonna need your iron nice and hot and you're gonna need some clips. Now we're going to press this seam out toward the binding. All right, so we've got that seam nice and flat. Then we're gonna fold this binding and you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, that is so tiny. But we're just gonna fold that raw edge so it meets the seam. And that's why we really wanted that perfect quarter inch seam. And then next, we're just going to fold that over, tucking the raw edges in and hiding that seam. You can press this part if you want to. My cotton lycra is not going to stay pressed, as you can see here. So I have a nice little memory fold there. But I'm just going to go ahead and clip this part. I'm not going to try and press that because I know it won't stay. And the goal here is to just tuck in your binding raw edge and to cover your seam. And if you need to, you can stretch this binding a little bit to get it to cover that seam how you want it. All right, so we have that all clipped in place. And we're going to top stitch it from the front side. So see how that's just a tiny little edge and you'll have a hidden seam in here. So that's what's kind of fun about this binding instead of the bands where you have, you'll see that exposed seam and then the band leaves you with a piece out, which you might like that, but if it's, your gusset is really close underneath when you're wearing your panties and you just want kind of a narrower, then the binding is really nice for that. And again, it covers your seam. I'm going to use my zigzag and it's going to go back and forth across this because it's a quarter inch and that's going to catch both sides of the edges. So I'm not accidentally in here and I've got a floppy edge or I'm trying to catch the edge and I'm off and I don't catch it at all. And if you happen to not catch a piece of covering your stitching, 
like say you slip out and you have that, it's no problem. It's on the inside of your panty. All right, so fold your other side and top stitch your edge. All right, we have our binding stitch on. This is what it looks like from the inside. So all of your seams are covered, kind of like adding fold over elastic. You don't see any seams except for your top stitching seam. And here it is from the outside. Now we just need to fold those together. So here's your leg, kind of like you're folding your leg together and grab those side seams and we need to stitch up those side seams. It does get pretty chunky down here because you have several layers of fabric. So instead of serging this seam, I'm gonna stitch it with my stretch stitch and make sure that I back stitch carefully through here quite a bit. And then I'm going to open it and top stitch it down so I have less of bulk when I'm top stitching this as opposed to running the serger over it and then trying to fold all of that over and top stitching. So I'm going to do that to both side seams. All right, so there's my top stitching on either side of that seam. And now my binding flows from the back to the front. And then here's what it looks like on the back side. Those seams open and top stitch down. And I did not top stitch through the binding just so it would look nicer. I started my top stitch here on the fabric on the body where it meets. And then this is just open but we had that good back stitch in there and that seam. And then with this top stitch starting right here, you just have a little bit of that opening right there. All right, so your binding legs are finished. See how that's so nice. You don't see any of that raw stitching in there. And then you have a nice petite little line over here. So go choose a waistband and I'll meet you there.